Hello everybody, my name is Woody and today we're going to be talking about 10 mysterious encounters sailors had at sea. From seemingly paranormal situations to monsters in the deep, let's get into it. Number 10, the Mary Celeste. On November 7th, 1872, 10 people boarded the merchant ship, the Mary Celeste, on a journey to Italy. A few weeks later, the ship was found completely abandoned. Captain David Morehouse was on his own ship when he saw the Mary Celeste adrift on the sea. The ship had only left eight days ahead of them and should have already arrived in Genoa, Italy. So he sent a boarding party out to check it out. And what they discovered was pretty shocking. The crewmen's belongings were all still in their quarters and all the food and water was still there but there was three and a half feet of water in the bottom of the ship alcoholics don't worry though as the 1701 barrels of alcohol were all intact the only thing missing from the ship appeared to be the single and only lifeboat to this day it is still unknown what caused the crew to abandon the boat leaving all their belongings and provisions behind number nine fallen sailor in the 50s a merchant sailor had just just joined a new ship and was in the engine room cleaning up. Suddenly, he heard a sound from one of the pieces of machinery. As he turned around, he saw someone standing on top of it and waving, someone that he didn't recognize. As he was new to the ship, he didn't know everyone's faces and just thought it was someone fooling around, even though he wasn't quite sure how the man would have been able to get up there. He told the man to get down, but he didn't, so he went to go and get his senior officer. After he went and got his boss, they both returned to where the man had been so they could get him down, but there was nobody there. Obviously shocked, he explained the man that he had seen to the senior officer. As it turns out, the man that he had seen wasn't anyone on the crew. Instead, he matched the description of someone who had fallen off the ship and passed away during the previous voyage. Number eight, from beneath. This one comes from a Redditor who recalled an experience that he had over 40 years ago. He was aboard his first ever ship, which was in port in Brooklyn, New York. He was over the side on a camel, no, not the animal, a long wooden raft that keeps the ship away from the pier and was scrubbing the bow of the ship with a push broom. It was in December on the East River and the river was incredibly choppy and rough. He was scrubbing away when something in the corner of his eye caught his attention. He looked and saw what was clearly an arm reaching up out of the water. He calls other people to look but no one else sees it before it quickly sinks out of sight. Everyone thought he was crazy and made fun of him but he says he can still see it clearly many years later. Later. It's a short encounter, but still a quite unsettling one. The only thing that could make this story better is if he had been sitting on an actual camel. Number seven, the voice. A man had been out fishing at night with his wife and another female friend on a local river. They were relaxing, watching a meteor shower, drinking and fishing. He decided he wanted to check out a spot further down, so he left them alone to head off into the woods. When he was about 100 yards down the path with only the sound of crickets, he heard a female voice clearly say, his name, saying it was as loud as someone just a few feet behind him. He turned around, thinking that one of the girls had followed behind him, but nobody was there. He immediately turned and headed back, and both the women were still there, just watching the meteor shower. He says there is absolutely no way that he would have heard them that clearly with how far away they were. He says that he is not a huge believer in the supernatural, but he still gets scared thinking of that voice, and hasn't been back to that spot since. Number 6. Always a bigger fish. In 2003, a group of scientists were in Australia for a research study. While out on the waters, they tagged a 9 foot long great white shark. While a giant shark is scary enough on its own, what happens next is even worse. As they were watching the tracker they had put on the shark, they saw it drop almost 1900 feet in a matter of seconds, and the body temperature rose 20 degrees. The only explanation for it seemed to be that something massive had pulled the shark down and eaten it, as this would have caused the rise in the body temperature. To this day, it's still unclear what would have been able to pull the shark down so fast and what exactly would have been interested in eating it, most people chalking it up to a massive monster shark. With so much of the ocean remaining unexplored, we can only wonder what sort of giant monsters are lurking in the dark, just waiting for an unsuspecting creature to swim by. Number 5. Mysterious Light This story comes from a cruise ship. He had apparently been on a cruise in 2012 that was heading to Bermuda. One night 
night he had volunteered for bow watch from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., where you are stationed on a deck to watch out for debris, other ships, or anything else that the instruments don't catch. It was about 11.30 and it was a pretty clear night, so it was easy for him to see. He was leaning against the railing, looking out to the horizon, when his eyes caught on a specific cloud. The cloud parted and a long blue streak came down, going all the way down to the horizon. It could not be mistaken for a shooting star or lightning, as it was perfectly straight and lit up the sky bright blue. He went to find his watch officers and they were all staring towards where the light had been, mouths open. No one had an explanation for what it was, and the captain just told everyone it was no big deal and they needed to carry on. I'm telling you this specific story to meet my personal quota of having at least one point per video that I can tell you was totally aliens. Number 4. The Fridge One Navy member had been showing his family a DVD of one of his tours. There was one shot where the only thing you could see in the frame was a box floating in the water. It looked like it could have just been a box of fallen cargo or something, but he stopped the video to tell his family the true story of what had been in the water. They had gotten off the ship and gone into the water to check out what the box was when they discovered that it wasn't any sort of missing cargo, but instead it was a fridge. When they opened it up, they didn't find someone's missing dinner, but instead a deceased human body. To make it even worse, when they looked around the interior, they noticed that it had clearly been scratched up from the inside. They were far from land and had no idea just how long that body had been inside the fridge. Whether they had been put inside there by someone and left to perish at sea, or if it was some sort of accident where something innocent had just gone terribly wrong. Number 3. Floating One man was out with two of his friends on a boat in a lake in South Florida. They were spending a few days out there sleeping on the boat, drinking, fishing, and playing games. One night he stepped to the back of the boat while his friends were up at the front. He said he just felt like he was aware of something being there. He looked around, trying to figure out what he was feeling, but didn't see anything near the tree line. He moved to scan the water when he saw something he definitely didn't expect. He saw a human skull floating in the water about 50 feet away from the boat. He then said that a weird feeling took over him. It was immediate calmness and then the sudden urge to jump into the water, saying he had a feeling that he would be at home and at peace if he just jumped in. But thankfully, the sound of a beer bottle rolling on the deck snapped him out of it. He desperately ran to get the engine started while he heard a splashing getting closer and closer to the boat. He was able to get him and his bewildered friends out of there and he's never returned back to the water since. Number 2. Lost Time One sailor was going from Miami to Bimini with a group of friends, about a 12 hour journey. They decided to split up into different 4 hour shifts of being awake as they sailed overnight. Him and his friend took the midnight to 4 am shift and decided to listen to music on some tapes that they had. They had 3 different tapes which were all a total of 90 minutes long, so about 4 and a half hours of music to keep them entertained during their shift. They spent their shift with no problems, listening to the entirety of the tapes and then ready to wake up the next shift as they even went over their time and knew it was 4.30 am due to the length of the music. When they woke up the people for their shift, they were furious as they said it was only 2 am. That didn't make any sense to him as they had listened to all the tapes, so it had to have been well past 2. But they showed their watch, which read 2am, and all the other clocks and radios read 2 as well. They checked all the tapes they had listened to, and they were all fully played. Even if each side had had 15 minutes of blank tape, it would have been 3 o'clock. They never found out what had happened to the time, and if they had become unintentional time travelers. Number 1. Dropped Load This story comes from Reddit and is a retelling of a story that his dad had experienced. He was out boating with a few of his friends near Rocky Point in Mexico in the mid 90s and they were out late at night to drink. It was incredibly late into the night when a helicopter flew over top of them. The local that had taken them out on the boat immediately shut everything off as it flew over. The helicopter then hovered over the water a bit away from them before dumping bodies into the water and flying off. After it was out of sight, the local turned the boat back on and turned to them saying, they do that all the time, never seen it this close before. It was never explained who was operating the helicopter and who it was that was dropped in the water, though I'm sure many theories can be made about what the reality of the situation was. Thank you guys for watching, that was 10 mysterious encounters that sailors had at sea that will probably keep you on dry land for a little while. I've been Woody and you've been amazing. Join us next time for more lists and scary things. <laughs>